Hello all, I am Dr. Anand Nayar, PhD in Computer Science. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Gyan with Anand Nayar. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned to all the technology videos on Linux administration, open source, Windows administration, embedded systems, Kali Linux, simulations, big data, machine learning, programming, deep learning, IoT, virtualization, unboxings and many more. If you want to know more about my, the details of my video, you can click on the playlist and you can find more details of the videos on which I make on my YouTube channel. If you want to know more about my research, you can go to Google Scholar and you can search my name Dr. Anand Nayar and you can find all my research papers over here. And similarly, you can even go to researchgate.net and you can find my detailed profile and even my level of research over here. And you can find all the coordinates of my current research scenarios on this website. And similarly, you can even go to google.com and you can search my name as Anand Nayar and you can find my website and every coordinate needs of my of my research everything over this search so i request you to subscribe to my youtube channel and stay tuned gyan with anandaya your ultimate resource for technology thank you hello researchers how are you i hope you are fine and doing well in this video i will be demonstrating how to install maui linux on vmware workstation 14 pro now before we dive in the installation part, let us first of all explore the official website, what it is showing, what is MAUI Linux and what other properties of MAUI Linux. So as you can see on the screen, I have already opened maulinux.org and you will be finding the link of this website in the description below. So you can see your ASL for freedom. MAUI is a complete operating system with a selected suite of software that make your computer run and ready for everyday use. So the latest version which you can see over here which I will be using in this video will be MAUI 17.06 released and you can even see that 17.03 was the outdated edition. So even let's go for some download, how to download. So you can find that there are two options. The nickname for MAUI Linux that is M uh, that is 17.06 is Cuba Libre. So we have torrent and we have direct download. So you can click on anything and you can even put the MAUI on a live stick that is Linux 32-bit, 64-bit Windows or Mac OS. So even we have the firms. You can even if you have any problem, you can find the problems on the firms also. And if you click on about, so what is MAUI? So you can find it's like a, the Plasma desktop we have. We have the Firefox and Plasma integration. We have the Dolphin based powerful file manager. We have the VLC media player. We have the Gbox music browser like iTunes. We have Krita, which is the powerful painting studio like GIMP and Photoshop. And we have Inkspace, Inkspace that is a vector graphics based application. We have Kden Live. We have Kate that is as the text editor, which I will be using for uh, that is copy based of the text. We have Skype even, we have UQ and uh, Synaptic package manager like Ubuntu. So it means that is again based on Ubuntu. We have the Steam client and these are the basic requirements which we have. So it is good and it is lightweight. It is good for even school children to make their projects and even for light users to experience a good desktop. So I have already downloaded the MAUI Linux. So it is about, if I click on properties, it is about 1.97 GB of size. So let's uh, go to VMware and let's start with the creation of new virtual machine. So let's click on next and I will install the operating system later. So I click on Linux and Ubuntu 64 bit and I just type MAUI Linux 17.06 2018. So here is the location. You can change the location as per you. So 20 GB will be okay. And I click on customize hardware and I allocate 4 GB of RAM, but otherwise 1 GB is recommended, so you can even increase. So for cores, I can increase to number 2. And for this, I go to ISO image, I go to desktop, and I click on MAUS 17.06. So adapter, it is NAT, it is OK, so I click on close. And now it is high time to fire the machine, click on finish. And here the machine is created. And now let's click on power on this virtual machine. I click on view and full screen. So let's press enter. So it is start MAUI, compatibility mode, memory test and boot from local drive. So I click on start MAUI. But I don't think so that it is going to take much time and it is lightweight, it is good and it is powerful. So let's wait what we have for this. So as you can see that it is fast, it has, it has already started booting up. Okay. 
So let's give this pool space. Let's wait for desktop to arrive. So it is taking some time. So now you can see that it has given up the desktop but the size is very small so I just click on M and I click on system settings and I go to display so let's change the resolution so now you can see a very beautiful wallpaper like a zigzag and it's a Scuba library 17.06 so let's first of all start with the installation part and after that I will come to this part that what MAUI has everything for us to offer so let's click on install MAUI I think so it is again part of Ubuntu so same you can say it's nothing any rocket science so let's click on next so I create the location is with Nani I go for default keyboard I erase the disk and I go for complete 20 GB so type my name very simple okay so it is saying the summary so I click on next and it has started the firing of installation so very fast and very quick so till it install let us pause the video for some time and I come back when it is ready for reboot so it has taken about 10 minutes to reach here so now it is creating some users running the hardware lock operation in eTramFS so the complete procedure takes about 10 minutes to reach up to this level it is fast but it is powerful so let's wait for this to complete I think that five more minutes will be more required so it is running the bootloader option I think it is near to complete and it is running the package operations now So Moy stands on the shoulder of joints. We could like to say a thank you to everyone to make it possible. It is good. So KD Plasma Desktop is there to welcome us. We will browse web bit of course as we have the Firefox only because it is in the shell. So we have entertainment, music out of the box and SM player. And we have Steam for games. So lots of games are there. So it is running the virtual box operation. So it is taking time at some few stages, but few stages are very, very slow and some stages are very fast. So now you can see that all it has been done and now we are all set to restart the system. So let's quit and it will restart the machine. So after the restart, let's first of all uh, get ourselves aware with the desktop and then I will tell you some commands to update so it is MAUS 64 bit it is started and then we will go for some uh, virtual box tools copy paste I will tell you how to do that otherwise it is just copy paste so I will not demonstrate that I will just demonstrate the command Okay, so now you can see a beautiful login screen has come and you can see the plasma search for user suspend restart and shutdown and US based option so let's type the password okay
Now let's first of all see what uh, tools and what packages does it bundle and comes bundled with so that we can have the awareness that what it is primarily used for. But I think that it is also good for students, for developers, uh, for some uh, web professionals and even some uh, office work. It is good. And even for starters who are learning Linux, it could be also good and a sure consideration even parallel to Ubuntu in order to make Linux their friend and then they can work on some advanced options like Red Hat or Oracle or CentOS or Fedora. So you can see that it is having some uh, lag issues again. So now you can see that the desktop has booted. So first of all, let's change the resolution. So we go to system settings. And we go to display and we go to resolution and let's apply okay so now it is done so now let's first of all see what is in the what's all about in this uh, distribution so it is my computer so it is saying the version 5.10.2 KDE app 17.0.4.2 and we have the configuration and we have the graphics also that is OpenGL is supported and it is 64 bit so it is good so let's click on M. So here we have recent uh, all applications we have that is Arc, Audacious, Burger Space, Chess, Dolphin, Frozen, Jimp. All these things are there. So lots of applications are there. Okay, so it is good. Okay, so let's click on uh, the MAUI and let's have the search for. Okay, it is not giving me. I think so. Let's find the terminal. Okay, so here is the console. Great. So let's enlarge some fonts with Control plus plus. Okay, so that you can see. Okay, so let's first of all uh, enter with the password of root. So let's password. Okay, so password is updated. So let's log in with root. It's good. So you can see that it is MIUI and Linux is 4.8.0-58. So let's first of all update the system with the same command apt-get update like we do in uh, Ubuntu. So it is done. And now let's see this. So you can see that distributed description is MAUI. Okay. So let's do the final thing that is installation of uh, virtual editions. So for this, we have to run just one command that is apt hyphen get install open hyphen vm hyphen tools hyphen desktop space minus y. So after reboot, you can just do the copy paste. So I will not waste the time on that. So it is all done. So it is setting up. Okay, great. So it is highly, highly fast. So in this video, I have demonstrated how to install MAUI Cuba Libre 617.06 on VMware Workstation. So do like this video, do comment, and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. And I will bring in more videos on Linux systems administration and even on machine learning in my coming days. So stay tuned and stay connected. Thank you so much and see you next time in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.